live in full color. From Television City in Hollywood, the Red Skelton Show. Pet Milk Company, makers of double-rich pet evaporated milk. And refreshing instant pet non-fat dry milk, the new modern milk without fat. Present the Red Skelton Show with David Rose and his orchestra and Red's special guest, Carol Channing. Begin to congregate at the meeting place by the old barn gate. Happy faces everywhere, much excitement in the air. Such excitement can't be wrong, so come join a happy song. Come with us, we're going to the country. Get ready, the run is starting. Get with us, we're going to the country. So glad to have you along. Blow the sun on high. Warming up the sky, says we should be on our way. Grab your favorite girl, take her for a whirl on a happy holiday. Start singing, we're going to the country. Start dancing, we'll have a hold down. Get going, we're going to the country. Have us a wonderful time. Deviled eggs, lemonade, a chocolate cake that's just been made, potato salad and pies galore, all the food that the ants adore. We'll eat and eat till the tummies hurt, then have kisses for dessert. How nice it's all gonna be at the outdoor jamboree. Red skeleton is on a fire farmer. He's Martin with Carol Channing. Red skeleton is gonna be a charmer. He's a country Romeo. Thank you very much and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I hope that we have a pleasant little visit this evening. Tonight we're going to tell you an adult bedtime story. Uh, it will sort of be narrated. It's a story of a little boy planting the first seed and he's with his grandfather. Once upon a time, there was a grandfather who took his grandson for a walk. <laughs> it was a chilly spring day. While digging, the little fellow found many strange things. What could this be? A string? A snake? No, a worm. There's more to making things grow than just a seed. Sometimes there comes the menace of hungry birds. <laughs> then there are the elements. <laughs> A 
As the weeks went by, the little boy saw what he had planted start to grow. This was the one thing he was allergic to. Ragweed. <laughs> but to this day, the grandfather has it in his wallet. And almost any day, the little boy and his grandfather can be seen searching for and explaining life. <laughs> them fast and stack them high. Those are pet milk pancakes on the griddle and your folks will never taste any better. Made with pancake mix? You bet. And double rich pet milk mixed half and half with water instead of ordinary milk. That's the trick. Pet milk gives pancakes a richer golden color, a richer deep down flavor other forms of milk just can't match. And while you're at it, Fill the cream pitcher with double-rich pet milk, too. It's extra rich in golden country cream. Makes every cup of coffee extra satisfying. Fact is, pet milk just seems to make all meals more enjoyable. Try it at your house and you'll see. Get it in the tall or the small can. Pet evaporated milk. Murder. Well, better not do that to him. They'll think I'm baby doll. <laughs> well, well, Paul, how are you today? <laughs> you think it's getting cooler? <laughs> well, sir, I bet. forgot my lunch pail. Well, I ain't gonna go through that again. Clem, I do declare you are getting smarter. Well, you forget now, man. You know, it is getting cool. Clem, Clem, get over here. Get. I just want to tell you that black stuff is oozing out of the ground again. It's gonna ruin all our crops. Yeah, tell me, what do you think that black stuff is? Well, it looks like black oozy stuff to me. I wonder what it tastes like. Just about what it looks like. <laughs> I wish I knew where it was coming from. Somewhere on that wall right there. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, For heaven's sake. It's, uh... It's kind of oily, ain't it? <laughs> no, it's around noon. <laughs> Clem, Clem Hopper, I declare sometimes I think you're a perfect idiot. Now there's a real parent for you, always thinking their kids are perfect. I <laughs> can't do any work around here with this black gooey mess. Yeah. I'm going into town here and somebody clean it up. Well, I'm going down and see my girlfriend, Daisy Dew. Well, come with me, I'll give you a ride. No, I better eat first. Oh, I need all the strength I can get. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this bird's for the people. <laughs> I told Mother to cook that egg. Act two, the Gordon home, one year later. You mean then, Huntington? Oh, with deep emotion. You mean then, Huntington, that this is farewell. <laughs> farewell forever. Well, yup, give Cooper South. Love girl. Love. Farewell. That's all you have to say. Go. Out of my life. Forever. Well, <laughs> to denote 
wrote the passage of five years. Hmm? So, you have returned, hunting time. Tell me, sir, is your daughter in? <laughs> They recognize you. You've changed. Well, naturally, I've changed. Saturday has come and gone. <laughs> once more to hear your beloved voice. Once more to gaze upon your handsome face, your kind face, your strong and understanding. It's about wet face. You know how lonesome it's been. I've almost gone out of my mind. It's been horrible, horrible, horrible. You can say that again. Horrible. <laughs> I'm glad you're not cleaning fish. Oh, yeah, darling, I'm sorry. I was just cleaning cat... I, was, I wasn't cleaning catfish at all. I was doing the laundry and practicing my acting. Oh, that what you're doing? Yes, my... Hey, I was wondering why you was mad at me. You know there's nobody in the whole wide world but you. Oh, there must be. I've been bumping into people all day. <laughs> Say, how about a little kid? Oh, Claire. Come on, how about a little spoogey, huh? Come on. My ma will be here in a minute. I don't care about her. I want to kick you. <laughs> All right, honey, just one little teeny one. Okay. Oh, I can't wait any longer. We've got to get married. <laughs> well, Claire, honey, I'm sorry, but first, I have got to go to New York and become famous. You mean you won't marry me? Well, not right now. Well, I'll be a dirty clothes catcher. <laughs> Oh, Clem. Oh, baby, I didn't know. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. You didn't. I got my foot on this hot log here. <laughs> Why, this oil strike will be bigger than Signal Hill. You know, if we play this real smart, we may be able to pick the whole thing up for practically nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Do you live around here? Well, uh, tell me, are you from the draft board? <laughs> well, and I live around here, yes, sir. Well, uh, we'd like to just buy this farm. You would? Yes, sir, we're prepared to offer you $200 for it. Oh, you suckers, you. <laughs> Why, is something wrong with the property? Something wrong with it? This black oozy stuff here has been ruining our crop for years. Oh, isn't that a shame. Ain't that awful? We got 200 acres here. It just goes from all around here. It goes up over them hills there, clear back to where it's painted blue. <laughs> uh, who owns this place? Well, Pappy and me, of course, it's my name because he can't write. Oh, uh, can you? I don't know. I never tried. <laughs> You must be kidding. Yeah, nobody could be that stupid. <coughs> you want to bet? <laughs> I'll tell you what, Mr. Um... Uh, Cadiddle Hopper. Clem Cadiddle Hopper. Cadiddle uh, Hopper? The Boston Cadiddle Hopper. <laughs> it used to be Cadiddle Hooper, but uh, it was so low that we didn't bother with it anymore. <laughs> so we changed it to Hopper. We didn't want people laughing at it. You know? well, I'll tell you, Mr. Uh, uh, Clem. Clem, yeah. I'll make this contract out for $200, and you just sign your name with an X, and the money will be yours. Oh, right. So you don't mind if I look at it first, do you? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> There's an extra Clem. Wait a minute. I have to put one on there for a cadiddle hopper. All right, I'll take Wait, that. Wait, another one. A little tiny beanie one. What's that one for? A junior. <laughs> Yahoo! Clem, my boy, we're rich. Yeah? We're rich. We're filthy with money. We're filthy without it. <laughs> I just sold a farm for 200 bucks. You what? Stole it. Give me that thing. Oh, there you are. Now listen, my boy. I just found out that that black gooey stuff is oil. Oil? It's worth a hundred million dollars. No. It's the stuff that makes automobiles run. Well, what are we so excited for? We don't have an automobile. <laughs> I can buy you all the automobiles you want. Really? Now you two fellas, get! Yeah, out! Out! Get out! Spell G-E-T out! <laughs> ah, my boy. Yes. As I say, we're rich. rich. You can have anything your little old heart ever dreamed of. Anything my little old heart desires? Anything. Well, I don't know what that censor said. Forget it. <laughs> Chicken Barbecue. Man, what a chicken dinner.
That sippy barbecue sauce is baked in right in your oven. The chicken's juicy tender. That's because we've used fresh tasting acronized chicken and a brand new barbecue sauce made with instant pet non-fat dry milk. You see, when you make barbecue sauce the instant pet way, it coats the chicken and the coating stays on. Gives the chicken a deep, rich color and more of the good barbecue flavor. Yes, Instant Pet always makes good things better. Like this golden peach crumble. This extra nourishing macaroni and cheese bake. So get these recipes on this handy free recipe slip on the Instant Pet shelf at your grocer's. Or send a card with your name, address, and the words chicken barbecue to... Pet Milk Company, Box 888, St. Louis 1, Missouri. Clam Cadiddlehopper President, Clam Cadiddlehopper Executive Vice President, Clam Cadiddlehopper Chairman of the Board, Clam Cadiddlehopper Chief of the Planning Division. You're welcome. Who is that? Mr. Cadiddlehopper. <laughs> oh, he's on his way up to his office now. <laughs> Somebody's got to mow that carpet. It's getting deep. <laughs> oh, Miss Henderson. Good Miss morning, Mr. Cadiddlehopper. Oh, good morning, there. Yeah. A couple of memos, Miss Henderson. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, now, uh, you know that big fountain we have down in the lobby? Yes. Uh, those fish, they look a little disgusting. They look cheap to me. Want them replaced. With what? Esther Williams. <laughs> Pretty busy. Let's see. At nine o'clock, I gotta have my ears pierced. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> at uh, ten o'clock, I got a board meeting with the Consolidated National Bank. <laughs> then at uh, eleven o'clock, I've got a conference with the uh, Billionaires Association of America. And then at one o'clock, I gotta be down at the dime store. Dime store? Yeah, they're having a sale on sweat socks. <laughs> Wet socks. I got a, they, they got five pairs for a dime. Wet yeah, and then at six o'clock, I got to go over and coach my personal basketball team. Merrill Lynch, Pierce, and these two buddies. <laughs> so when I come to them, I ain't going to mess around with them. What else is good news? Uh, the, deal you, the, the deal you ordered went through, and you now own both Amalgamated Pump and American Nickel. Amalgamated Pump and American Nickel. All right, we'll merge. We'll merge. From now on, we're going to have nothing but pump or nickel. <laughs> yes? Oh, Mr. Cadiddlehopper, there's a young lady waiting to see you, a Miss well, Daisy I'm, June. I'm very busy dictating. Did you say Daisy June? Yes. Daisy June's outside? Never heard of her. <laughs> send her in. Send her in. For heaven's sake, Daisy June. Good heavens. Oh, but, uh, Mr. Cadiddlehopper, what about that deal for the Empire State Building? Sell it, the Empire State Building. Oh, but Sell you, it. You just bought it. Sell it. I don't want it anymore. I don't like it since they took the monkey off of the roof. <laughs> I hope she remembers me. So. <laughs> It's good you bit me. Damn, <laughs> honey, how did you ever learn to kiss like that? Oh, I'm smoking filtered cigarettes now. <laughs> I'm one of them city boys, you know. I know, and I'm mighty proud of you. Yeah. When I read about Clem Cadiddlehopper Jr. and his financial empire, I couldn't believe it was you. I thought it must be some other Clem Cadiddlehopper no, Jr. No, it's me. The world ain't ready for another one, you know. <laughs> Oh, I own all them oil fields, refineries, railroad yards, steamship lines, small place on Sunset. <laughs> swimming pools and own practically everything. But do you think I'm happy? Are ah, you, Clem? You bet your sweet life I am. <laughs> Yeah, 
minutes there. But there's only one more thing I want in life. Oh, Clem. Yes. Oh, when you do this, it really does something for me. But we got to quit it. It does something inside. Oh, your heart? No, my cigars. You keep smashing them every time you... <laughs> Oh, that's all right. Daisy June, yes. will you marry me? Honey, I told you I can't marry you until I become a star. And you become a star, yeah? No, but I hate to admit this, but I've only had one job in the theater, and I lost that because I put too much butter on the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> no salt? <laughs> Look, if I, you, that's what you're waiting for. I'll make a star out of you overnight. How can you do that, Well, because Graham? I happen to have a television program, The uh, Talent Hunt. Oh. I'll have you on Broadway in no time. We got, good heavens, Jackie Gleason's up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was fine, Mr. Conrad. Well, we've got a few minutes to air time. Contestants are all ready. Say, Art, I wonder if we could run through that commercial once more, please. Okay, Seymour. Thanks. Hold Friend. everything. Hold, hold everything there. Not so loud, you idiot. Oh, sorry, Seymour. <laughs> Not so loud. Hold everything. Hold everything. What's the idea of busting in here like that? What are you, an idiot? A moron? An imbecile? Oh, what's this one of those freeway questions? If I answer one of them, can I have a chance at the other two? <laughs> Bird brain, come on out of here. And I happen to be the bird brain that owns this show. I'm the fellow that signs my name on the check. Well, how are you, bird brain? No, I mean... <laughs> I'm Clemson Diddle Hopper, yes, sir, junior. That X you see on them checks don't mean kisses, you know. Uh, what can we do for you, Mr. Cadiddle Hopper? Well, I found the winner for tonight's talent show. But, Mr. Cadiddle Hopper, we've already selected the contestants on tonight's but show. But I have selected the winner of the contestants for tonight. <laughs> Yeah. Daisy June, out here, please. Yeah, I... Oh, this is ridiculous. No, that Daisy June. <laughs> now, look, when you get her on the stage, I want nothing but close-ups of her. Maybe a could. Don't move in on her close-up, please. <laughs> this for her head, see? Maybe the product now and then. Now, is everything clear? Mr. Cadetlopper, yes. if you want her on this show, you can direct it yourself. <laughs> All right, I'll direct it myself. Is everything clear? Well, maybe I can squeeze her in the first part of the show. You won't squeeze her in any part of the show. <laughs> she happens to be my girl. I'm wise you. Road well, Mr. Cadillhopper, maybe you better MC the show yourself. The MC the show? My show. Well, all right, I'll do it. And you with the pierced ears. <laughs> I suppose you're the announcer. Well, I was, but you can do this job yourself. Oh, good. Oh, Clem. Well, well Daisy oh. June, don't worry. I'll have to introduce the show. Fifteen seconds to air time. And you're fired for that, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get more up. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Clem Cadiddle Hopper presents... The Cadiddle Hopper Talent Hunt. Directed by Clem Cadiddle Hopper. Announced by Clem Cadiddle Hopper. And starring your announcer, Jackson Wheeler. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you about Cadiddle Hopper. Oil. This is the oil. This is the slimiest, the slickiest, the greasiest oil in the world. Now, when you drive into a filling station, be sure you've got a car. I mean, uh, <laughs> ask for Cadiddle Hopper oil. Cadiddle Hopper oil. Let me spell that for you so you won't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, on with our show. And here is the girl. Is our singing winner of tonight's contest, Daisy June. Uh, would you move that? Since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. Down at the end of Lone Street, that heartbreak hotel. I just be so lonely, lonely baby. Just be so lonely, baby, lonely. Just be so lonely, baby, lonely. I could die. 
Well, the bellhop's ears are flowing. The desperate's dressed in black. Well, he's been so lonely on the street. Don't you ever, ever look back. I just be so lonely, lonely, baby. So lonely, baby. Lonely, baby. Lonely, baby. I be so lonely. No, I be so lo lonely, baby. Sam, what's the next word? Lonely. No, 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 honey, the one after that. Oh, I could die. That's it. I could die. Don't call a doctor. Don't call a nurse. Don't call an ambulance. What I need is a hearse. Oh, it's hippity hop to the graveyard to die, 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 to die. Don't worry, friends, we have a game law that protects her. <laughs> and now we're going to have the, the winner of our dancing contest, Daisy Dew. your leg going upside down, huh? <laughs> this is beginning to be a physical impossibility. And now we're going to have the girl who won our dramatic contest. Daisy Dew. Daisy Dew. So, you have returned. What? <laughs> I hardly recognize you. Not him again. <laughs> Please, please, Daisy June, Daisy more to get? please, please, your acting's killing me. It's killing us, too. Why don't you get rid of <laughs> Really? Now that Daisy June has become a star, she's going to marry me. Well, I also have another announcement. I'm going to marry you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We should make a happy couple, little idiot. <laughs> well, I think I should give you your engagement ring, then. Oh, engagement! I've got a big oh, surprise. Ma'am, <laughs> <laughs> honey, it, it's just, just beautiful. Isn't it, Bill? But I'm going to need a small boy all the time to help me carry it. I have thought of everything, small boy. After all the months of waiting. Your baby. All yours. So tiny. So helpless. So dependent on you. To feel happy and secure, your baby needs you and the love you give him. To be healthy, he needs the right kind of milk. Pet milk is processed to make it especially suitable for babies. Fifty million babies have thrived happily on this form of milk. Doctors know it is safe easy for babies to digest, and of course, fortified with vitamin D, the sunshine vitamin. Naturally, you want the best for your baby. Your own doctor can tell you there is no better, safer choice than pet evaporated milk. More babies are being raised on pet milk formulas than on any other brand. That has brought you the Red Skelton Show, portions of the preceding program. This is the